one of my friends um, told me a story. I kind of like it. Um, um, he says that this guy he was in his hole and he, and he was stuck there. You know, whatever it was, addiction, prison, or the way of life, that dark hole, he was stuck there. So a, a lawyer came by and he says, I can get you out of that hole. And he said, you do these things, he rolled him a note and threw, him, threw it down to him in that hole. And he said, still in this hole, but okay, <laughs> it worked on my legal things, I'm still in this hole. So the doctor comes by, I said, well, you need this and that, and I'm going to give you this prescription, and he can get you out of this hole, and he throws it down there, you're still in the hole. And, you know, the same person keeps going in there, teacher, everything, everyone's throwing down their certificates, everything down there, still in that hole. And he said this one time, his friend came by, and he said, he yelled up to him, hey, I'm still in this hole, everyone's been trying to help me, I'm still in this hole. He goes, all right, I know, okay, I'll hang on, I'll be right with you. He disappeared, and he goes, shoot, where'd he go? And he looked, and he was right beside him. He says, hey, so he goes, why are you here? And now we're both stuck in the hole. But he said, yeah, but I know the way out. And that's what I'm talking about. If we've been down that road, we know the way out. If you learn how to be educated, you know how to teach and instruct them. But if you lose that concept of really helping someone and you're clinical, you kind of uh, fall short. This is how you do it, you know. Write it down, look at that, that's how it said. But if you start talking to them, to them, not down to them, then they start listening.